If you just join us, we have Lucille Ball with us tonight. You, of course, were already out here. I James am. Conn, yes. <laughs> Phoebe Snow and uh, John Keene, tracer of lost dogs. That's true, a man who traces lost dogs for John, I, I believe everything. You probably everybody. Everybody's got to be somewhere. What were we talking about? God knows. No, let's really talk about it. Now, rodeo work is, is extremely dangerous. Why did, you, why did you go into it? I mean, you, you, you're a good actor. You're in motion pictures. You do television. And you go out and get into a, a thing where you can get killed. You can break your bones. Have you done any of that? Have you broken bones? Oh, yeah. What, for example? And just, just, just name a bone. I mean, we'll start... And, uh, yeah, I mean, have you broken an arm, a fibula, you know, a uh, <laughs> tibula? You want to write these down, John? No, no, I just... Uh, no, because it is. I see. Do you do Brahma b- b- bull, bull riding? <laughs> do you, I mean, do you ride Brahma bulls, or is this mainly b- b- horse, b- bucking horses? Uh, I don't uh, ride Brahma bulls. Brahma bulls, that's no, one of the I have not. I have not been hitting the head hard enough to do that. Uh, uh, no, I, I rope. It's rope. Uh, relatively... Cap roping? Uh, uh, relatively uh, less dangerous than uh, riding bulls or right. steer wrestling. And uh, I guess at my dream uh, as a kid, you know, like I guess uh, 50% of the American male population over 40, they put themselves, I think Thurber said, put themselves to sleep huh. dreaming they've just struck out the Yankees, you know. So uh, I, I always wanted to be a professional athlete. Right. And uh, I went to Michigan State uh, when I was 16 and tried to play football. Yeah. And uh, they sent me home in a box. No good. <laughs> and uh, I played a little uh, uh, AAA baseball. Never quite, uh, you know, good no. enough. So this is sort of uh, my Walter Mitty uh, yeah. side. And uh, I compete against guys who are uh, much better than me. Now, they make the circuit, don't they? I mean, they go from place to place all year. Is there a regular season? or? Well, the season's all year long. Uh, That's a long season. Well, there is a, there's a month. I mean, a month off. The national finals start December 3rd, and they run through the 13th, and then the next big rodeo will be uh, Denver in the middle of January. And then from there on, there's 500 or so rodeos throughout the country. And uh, You could enter as many as you want? Yeah. That's crazy. But, I mean, of course, you have to get there. I mean, one is in Alabama, and one might right. be in... A, it's, uh, it's a shame, these guys who I think are great athletes, uh, they have to pay their way, uh, pay their rooms, right. and drive hundreds... 100,000 miles As a year. As you say, if they don't... And they get nothing. I mean... Absolutely. The so. world champion bull rider uh, a couple of years ago uh, made $21,000, <coughs> 18000 of which it cost them to go down the road, as they say. You know? Yeah. Now, the guys that have to pull their horses, and uh, uh, they can't fly and make as many rodeos as right. bull riders and bareback riders, and so they're on yeah. the road constantly, and it's... Uh, I don't know. They're, they're great athletes, but it's very difficult, I guess, to, to stimulate fan interest. Right. I mean, you can't get a guy and his family to go out to root for a guy for eight seconds. You know, it's pretty tough. <laughs> so they're working on, a, they're working on a, uh, some new systems, hopefully, where they have some sort of a team, right. uh, team rodeo. Uh, I've been to, I, I I've should been hope to it works for them rodeo, because they are... I've been to the Cheyenne Rodeo. Oh, that's, in Wyoming. That's, a, that's a big one out there. Do you have your own horse? Oh, yeah. Do you travel with him now when he, you go to these rodeos? I don't oh, mean together. Only, only I mean, when he dresses well. I know, no, I didn't. <laughs> I mean, you take your horse from uh, yeah, as often as I to can. town to town or rodeo yeah. to rodeo. Yeah. Well, yeah, of course, uh, you do better on your own horse than you would on someone else's. Yeah, I don't know that much about it. And my horse and I, we just kind of, we kind of get along. Oh, you know right? <laughs> good, good. One more boy. We have some, uh, we have some film, don't we? Have you in action? You mentioned it earlier. He that's, did. That's where I heard it. Did. That's yeah. where I heard it. I heard it. Uh, <laughs> which, uh... You all having a good time or what? Oh, well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> of course I'm having a good time. We put a sign out front tonight, rodeo fans only, and that's they <laughs> filled up like that. I, I can talk about other things. Cigarettes oh. or boots, boots? Doc. You wear boots all the time, don't you? Or most of the time? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I didn't want, I hey, didn't want hey, you to go into hey, that boots, deeply. These boots, now, this is very interesting. This, this, these boots are... Uh, Made for walking. <laughs> Every time I get rolled... Oh, I'm not saying Oh, you want to roll there. They're made by a man named uh, Sam Lucchese. These are, this is Jack Rattang Lizard. And uh, this guy is an artist. He's 70-something years old, and he's the last of a line. Of a family who's made boots for 300 years. Well, and they should be very tired. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm trying. I know, you know I'm in one I of those mean, silly I'm, moods tonight. 
I, what kind of lizard was that? I'd never heard of that, that particular lizard. Neither have I. They told me on a box. No, it's but... It's a uh, Jack Latang lizard. Jack Latan lizard. What do I know about well, I, lizards? Well, what do I, I know? Figured, figured. Ask me about... Ask me about cars or... Uh, Zip guns or something. I don't know nothing about it. Why don't we look at the film? Why not? Oh, That's a great idea. What, uh... Now, what, what rodeo is this from? Is that what we're going to see? Did you guys get together before? This is isn't it? a rodeo, is well, it? Well, this is not the rodeo film. Well, no. this is from if your new is, picture. If it is, I'd like to watch it. Oh, I thought we had some... Oh, we have some picture from... Uh, some film from your new picture. Oh, another man, another time. No, that's not it. Another Organized. place. Organized. Another man, another chance. Another man, another chance. <laughs> Somebody told me you had some also some rodeo film. Not Fred. Well, look you at him cop right up. It. What? You were the one that mentioned it. I guess I was the only one who thought we had that. Uh... <laughs> anyway, you were just saying you were very happy with the picture. Yes. Uh, it's um, a picture by Claude Lelouch, who did uh, A Man and a Woman. I don't know if... Uh, yes. And Now My Love. And uh, He's a terrific, uh, talented director. He shoots everything uh, by himself, uh, meaning that he holds the camera himself. And... Uh, he shot this thing uh, here, four and a half weeks here, and six days in France, and it read like Lawrence of Arabia. You know, I thought I'd be on right. it for a year. And it's a story like all the stories. They're, they're love stories, and uh, it's about two people. And I think this uh, piece of film that you're about to see is um, uh, a scene between me and my son, who is now seven years old, who I have put into a, an orphanage when he was uh, one. And I visit him every Sunday. And uh, in this sequence, uh, uh, Jean-Vierre Bougeot has a girl, right. and he shows the relationship that um, men try to have with their sons and women try to have with their daughters. She's busy teaching her French and how to be a lady, and I'm busy trying to teach him how to play cards and <laughs> shoot guns, and I know nothing, of course, about how to shoot guns. I play a, a vet, and uh, I hope that the rest is... Uh, all right, watch the monitor in the studio. Here's a short clip from uh, Another Man, Another Chance. That's a good scene. Yeah, that was, uh, that was about a quarter of it, but... Uh, yeah, when you... When, it when starts... Uh, it's a... Oh, it's, it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> when your son gets that age... You, your son is only, what, not even two years yet. Uh, he's 14 months yeah. old. When he gets that age, you'll go through all of those yeah, things. Yeah, he's, uh, he's got a little to go. He's... Uh, He's running 110.3. It's a little disappointing. <laughs> 5.11, 185. Hey, look, I thank you for coming tonight. I don't know if you've got something else you're going to go to. Yeah, I've got to catch a bus. Uh, when is he to the bar stuff? <laughs> Picture opens sometimes this, this next week, but they didn't give me a date on it. Yeah, uh, I think uh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving uh, should be it. I'd like to say hi to my mom. <laughs> and uh, my dad and my brother, Bert and everybody. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate That'll you. That'll be $1,200 for the... Uh, <laughs> for the Try music. to collect. <laughs> Jimmy, thank you for coming. Thank you.